Hello there guys, it is Maxo Diddly here, and today I'm here with another Java tutorial to you give a in your coursework, and today we are here with array lists. So what is an array list? Well, it's basically a dynamic array. And what do I mean by a dynamic array? I mean an array that we can change the length whenever we like. Because with a normal array, we have to declare the length and stick to that length of the array throughout the whole program. Well, with an array list, we can change it whenever we want. This can be handy because when we're not when we're not using certain elements in a normal array, it would be just wasting memory. However, with an array list, we just we don't need those elements to exist until we need them. So we are actually saving memory. So there's a quick pro and con for you if you like writing that kind of thing down. Now, in terms of functionality, it's very similar to an array, just different syntax. I'm going to be showing you how to go about doing that. So let's get right into the video. Firstly, we are going to create a scanner object to get some user input for the demonstration. We're going to do scanner user input equals new scanner system dot in. So we, oh god, I'm, I'm, I'm on insert. That was not intentional. Semicolon at the end. We need to right click on scanner and fix those imports. By the way, I haven't done a scanner tutorial. If you want me to do one, ask, but there are many great vid tutorials already out there for, for the scanner object. Now we need to make the array list. We're going to do array list. Then we're going to do one of those weird arrow thingies. A data type, so we're going to use string. Then we're going to put equals new. No way, I need to put, give it a name. I'm going to call it al for array list equals new. Array list string. Oh my god, I can't type. I can't actually type. My typing is as consistent as my sex life. <laughs> Why did I go there? Why did I go there? Anyway, once we've done that, I'm just going to quickly go over what you have to do. Array list, then a data type inside weird, ar weird arrow things. The name of this array list, new, then array list. Then the the, the, the the same data type as before. I want to right click array list and go to fix imports. To import Java util dot array list. Now I want to do system dot out dot print line, and do and do start start size plus al dot size. Al remember is DNA is the name of our array list. So we're basically saying, okay, can we get the size of our array list? And that will output zero, by the way. Now we're going to get some inputs. So we're going to do string input equals user input dot next. That's just going to get the input. It's going to set the input variable to whatever the user next types. Then we're going to do while input is input is not equal to stop. So basically, if the user doesn't type stop, then we're going to keep the loop going. And why did I put a semicolon there? I will never know. Inside, we're going to do al.add input. Then we're going to do input equals user input dot next. And that's going to be al, by the way. So what does al.add do? Basically, we're going to create, it basically creates a new element in the array list un, uh, the, underneath all the other existing ones, and it'll set the value of it to whatever you put inside the bracket. So in this case, we're going to set it to the user input. And this is just getting user input again. Now we're going to do system.out.println, and we're just going to be a, a few lines just to like separate it from everything else. Then we'll do for int i i less than al dot size and i plus plus. In here we'll do system dot out dot print ln and we'll do al dot get i and I, I should learn how to spell print. I should learn that, shouldn't I? Also, we need to make sure we set i to zero in the for loop. 
And after that, we're going to do system dot out dot print line new su size plus a l dot size. So that what no go there okay I actually can't type like I said before my typing is as consistent as my sex life okay anyway let's let's get right into what this code is doing we're getting user input we're creating an object to get the user input and we're going to call it user input I've already gone through how we declare an array list here we're just printing out the size of the array list we we get the name of the array list and then just do dot size after it to get the size of it. That is just getting user input. This loop is going to continue as long as if whatever the user inputs is not stop. It could be any if, if they input anything but stop, then this loop will continue. And what we do here is, okay, we get our array list object and we say, right, I want to add a new element to you with this value. So we do al.add and then whatever we want to add in the new elements we're creating. This will always go at the bottom of the array list after everything else that's already there. This is getting user input. This is just printing out a line. Here is a basic for loop that's gonna loop through all elements of the array list. We use al.size like we did there as well, by the way. And al.getI is basically, okay, I want to get whatever value is at a particular element value. And obviously we use i as an index to loop through, we can use to loop through all elements of an array list or an array. So you just put your array, the name of your array list, dot, then get, then we have two brackets, and inside those two brackets we will have a number which will represent the element we want to show the value of. In this case i, so we can show all of them. And we print out them, and we print them all out by the way. And system.out.println new size plus al.size is doing exactly the same here, just to show you that the size does change. So let's compile it. So the start size is zero. Why? Because the array list has nothing in it. I'm gonna put duck frog cow dog and stop. And the, we've just printed out everything that we just typed in, ex excluding the stop. So we got duck, frog, cow, and dog in the order we typed them. And the new size of our array list is four. Why? Because we have four animals in our array list. So we're gonna do this uh, one more time just to prove a point that it does, it doesn't matter what size it is. We're gonna do moo, boo, quack, and stop. And we have just made three sounds. And as you can see in here, when we print out the whole array list, they are in the same order we input them into the array list. And the array list is free because there are three of these. I just want to do that to demonstrate that this is variable length. It can be any length, depends on how many things the user wants to put into it or how many things you want to put into it. Anyway, guys, I hope that um, this tutorial has been valuable to you. We will do more episodes on array lists because maybe you don't understand, but there are also more things I want to go into regarding these because they are powerful and I do usually use them over arrays. Call me silly or not, I prefer them, okay? So anyway guys, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like in the comments if you enjoyed. If you've got any questions, be sure to ask them. I'll happily answer. I do answer questions reasonably quickly. you got to give me some hours. Like, I don't spend my whole life in front of a PC. Only 23 hours a day. <laughs> that was a joke as well, by the way. I don't spend my whole life without a PC doing nerdy stuff, okay? Anyway, guys, thanks for being a great audience, and we'll see you next time.